This whiskey here is one I'm very excited to try. This is the Hibiki 21 year old. Uh, this is a blended whiskey from Japan. So this will be a combination of Japanese malt whiskey and Japanese grain whiskey. Uh, Hibiki is owned by a huge company called Suntory. Um, so it's very, very likely this will contain Yamazaki and Hakushu single malt, probably with some cheetah grain whiskey in there as well. Um, Japanese whiskey has changed the world for the last few years, won a whole host of different awards. In general, the character is very light, very mm -hmm. clean, very well produced. Um, is this your experience yeah, as well? It's, yeah, yeah, it seems to have taken the world by storm in mm. the last at least 10 years. For something that's been around for almost 100 years, it's that's true, that's approaching exactly. 100 years now. 1923, I think, is the first yep. opening of a Japanese whiskey distillery, so... Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's. Yeah. I don't think it's been a meteoric rise to fame, but it's you know slow and steady, and it's made it eventually. Absolutely, but it's it's become hugely popular. Um, I think in the same way as Scotch whiskey, Japanese whiskey, some of it's very good, some of it's average, and some of it's pretty forgettable. Mm -hmm. um, Hibiki is is one of my favourites. Has been for a long time. It's got an incredibly lively nose, so one I'm really excited to try. Uh, this one is 21 years old, as I say. So all elements of the blend whether it's the malt whiskey, whether it's the um, grain whiskey, has all been in casks for at least 21 years before being blended together. So there should be a stunning drop and one I'm really excited to try. Let's open this up, Jack, and have a little taste. Let's pull off easy peasy, chuck that away. Moisten the cork a little bit. That oh, come, comes out like a dream. Let's see. Beautiful. The bottles actually are stunning. So there's 20, it's 24 faces on the bottle, which represent the 24 lunar phases. I think I'll have to look that up. But it's a stunning thing. Um, obviously, it adds to the whole Japanese elegance. But let's give this a try and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Good to go. Let's give us a try. Slash. For me, straight away on the nose, this is classic hibiki. Really vibrant, really, we say floral, fruity. Mm, oh, very fruit, very fresh fruit. Yep. Mm, pretty yeah, bright. It's a beautiful whiskey, particularly Scotch whiskey, is seen as you know a real winter or autumn drink. People think of smoky, coastal aromas that have a real strong fire to them. This is worlds apart from yeah, me. It's yeah. really subtle, really fruity. Hibiki, I think, works really well as like a long drink, whether it's in like a highball or a cocktail or something. Um, this particular example, having had 21 years of maturation, you know, you sort of want to enjoy it mm. on its own. There's been a lot of yeah. time and effort has gone into this um, and it smells absolutely stunning. Absolutely so amazing. Let's give this a try and see what it's like on, on the palate. What's here? First really, thoughts. Really smooth. So smooth. It's a word that's, I'd say, overused yeah, with whiskey. Smooth, if you don't really know what to say, just say smooth. Yeah. Um, but this is, it's very smooth. Yeah, um, yeah. No harshness, no, obviously no smokiness. We don't use any any peat to dry the barley, so there's none of that kind of medicinal iodine notes you sometimes get with, with Isla whiskies. As I say, polar opposite for me. Um, what do you think? Tasty? Tasty. Not not a long finish on it. Mm. Easy to drink. Absolutely. I think this one, as we said, is a blended whiskey. It's not a single malt. Blends in general, what do you say, are targeted more towards kind of the mass yeah, mass yeah. market whiskey drinkers. So a huge effort is made for it not to be too strong or too spicy or too fruity. It's designed to be balanced and, yeah, yeah. and neutral and enjoyed in many different ways. Well, um, they hit the nail on the head with that. Absolutely, yeah. It's a stunning drop. It's a sort of whiskey you could drink any any time of day, really. Maybe that says more about me, but it's a, it's a beautiful drop. The um, breakfast dram. The yeah. breakfast dram. Yeah. I think some whiskies, which are quite strong and quite, you know, brutal, sometimes they're 10 out of 10, but sometimes they're 3 out of 10, depending on your mood. This is one of those whiskies for me that's always 8 or 9 out of 10, mm -hmm. regardless of your mood, what you've had to eat, what the weather's like. It's always gonna gonna hit the spot, so it's a lovely drop and yeah, a real work of art, I would say. Yeah, cracking. Yeah.